Welcome back to SnowRunner on PlayStation 5, continuing my Central Asian adventure with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're in the Wyvern, Series 2. This is by Timothy. And all I was going to do in this episode was open up the map, because I haven't done it. And also then have a look and see what else, uh, gateways and things like that. Maybe we'll go and open some other bits. But we've got more of the map to go. We're down to the corner here. We've got all the way out there. Just trying to think. We've got another. And just one watchtower to do, haven't we? That's where the railway goes into the corner. We haven't really been down and had a look at a lot of these areas, so yeah, we'll have a bit of a bang around and see what we can find, shall we? We'll head out to that one first, I think. So from here, we'll go. I think I'm assuming the road will go out across from there. So we just need to go right out the go out the gates, the doors, out the gates. Turn the lights on at the moment. This thing is pretty cool, but it is fallible. It's got very soft suspension, and I have found it does roll quite easily. But I wouldn't have a bit of a laugh of it. So uh, it was this sort of tattering, and I thought, well, you know, I haven't really used this much on a video, so let's have a go in this. So what I have missed a lot from Mud Runner and things like that is um, just, you know, because I think, I, like a lot of the games I play, because I play Farming Simulator as well, and how far Farming Simulator's come, with um, all the things you can do on it, especially with Farming Simulator 22, with all the production chains and pallets and all these things you can produce and deliver and that kind of thing, I think this has gone the same way. To keep people sort of interested and to keep the whole franchise going with all the extra stuff like I said in the last episode all the cool things that you can now do on here which is really amazing but I miss just going out and rock crawling you know but it's that thing that you go out and just do rock crawling for your own amusement it's brilliant I used to watch all different people doing it uh, it's a TC gaming I always forget his YouTube um, sort of YouTube handle is that what you call it um, I want to say TC gaming 007 but I'm not sure if that's what it is I shall find it forthwith. I've got it on my uh, my list. Where are we? TC9700 Gaming. He was he's been my go-to for ages on on all things Mud Runner and Snow Runner. There are people doing it. Other YouTubers are available, but um, yeah, his was the stuff I watched. And I would spend hours watching this stuff when it was just rock crawling, getting across a map, the, the jeopardy, the, the trials, the difficulty, that kind of stuff. And that was because he was on PC, so he's had mod, modded stuff for absolutely ages, but just thoroughly enjoyed that. So yeah, I kind of, I was thinking for a while about going through all the various different maps, finding one, maybe a modded one, that's just full on rock crawl stuff, you know? There's been a few that I've kind of trialled bits of equipment on. But I want more of a challenge, so I don't know. I suppose the other way of looking at it is you've got more of a challenge. To go back to just using unmodded vehicles and then a lot of the maps do become a lot harder. I think that's why some of the base game maps have become more difficult anyway as a base game map because they're aware that people are going to be using um, modded vehicles on them, I suppose. So that's probably the other reason why. But... Oh. a lot of equipment dotted around the place haven't we to go and collect for doing farming related things I'm not quite sure why I'm sticking to the track I don't need to but we'll get out to the corners we'll find out what's there farm dog joining in <laughs> as I've said before when I've done videos that squeak is not the mod that is, that is farm dog <laughs> loving life Bogged down. Okay, lots of launch launch observation. Then we'll check. Okay, there we go. So I've got another gateway. What's that? A service trailer. Gas station, photo shoot, hay delivery. You know what? I was thinking about that. Um, 
oh, that's the bales, isn't it? The around the place. I'm going to do an episode where I do some of that as well because I just want to. I just want to experience a load more of the stuff. Right, where should I go from here? Well, we'll go out and try and get to kind of the edges, I suppose. We'll get the edges in. Just thinking, this one doesn't have. I don't think this one has. No, my other Land Rover has got um, radar. I suppose I could have used that, couldn't I? I could have used the 90 instead of the 110, because I used the Offender 110. I could have used the 90. So what I'm going to do is head out to the gateway, because I think what we might try and do, I'm not sure how far we'll get, but let's see if we can unlock another, open up or go into another map. Because I can, I've done all the watchtowers on here, but what we can do at some point, or what I can do at some point, is I'll grab the, how are we doing fuel wise here, we're alright. This doesn't have to fill up, does it, while we're here. Um, I can come back and I can use a vehicle with equipped with the radar and go around and just do the edges. Still not set myself by points. I know a few people have mentioned it. I like map reading. Oh, are we locked or not? Maybe not. Okay, travel to the institute. I need to find those that tractor or those tractors are supposed to be somewhere. So that's what I want to try and find stuff if I can. I suppose that's the thing I could have done was just gone around the edges of the map to find... Um, see if I can find vehicles and things like that, because there are a few knocking around. So, map. Two, three... Well, let's unlock those, I guess. off. Lights back on. Whoa, see what I mean? That could have easily turned into a roll. Let's off road. I don't know where I'm going or why I'm going this way, but I just feel like it. I was watching. Um, I never have actually played it. Um, oh, I've, I'm having one of those days. I can't remember anything. Some PC. It was on Jim, Jimmy Broadbent anyway the other day. Um, and he had a rock crawl challenge on that. It wasn't a snow runner. Um, I'll be men G. And um, that was why I think probably I was thinking about the rock crawl thing because that when I watched him do that, I was like, oh man, I'm, I miss just doing that that challenge of you against the terrain rather than actual sort of challenges themselves to do. Watchtower from the distance of there. Huh? 
Okay. Getting a bit bogged down, that's good. Oh, I did say I was going to do a bit of tonking around, so... Wyvern Series 2, tonking around. Of something I was going to ask yesterday when I posted one of my farm sim videos because I play on PlayStation I use Share Factory on PlayStation for doing my editing thumbnails are doing my PC but I do my editing on Share Factory just because I got so used to doing it before I owned a decent enough PC um, so that's what I've kind of always st stuck to because I'm quicker at uh, doing it on there but I use my music is all done if I use any music is done from the YouTube free music library which is fine um, oh, okay. That's a bit annoying. Still moving though. Stuck. Stuck. So Share Factory is the editing software for, for PS5, and there's all various different clips and intros, all various different things you can use. Plus, there's music and stuff you can use in there as well. Now that I've used it before, it's had a few updates, um, and I used a piece of music off there. I got a copyright warning, not a copyright strike, but I got a copyright warning yesterday from, well, somebody, I assume the people that own the music, but uh, it doesn't make any sense that you've got editing software to make videos, unless they're saying you can make videos on there, but only for personal use, um, I guess that's probably why, so yeah, just as a word of warning, if anyone's using Share Factory and you, you know, you want to post stuff, just be aware, you might get a few copyright warnings. I got caught, so to speak, I suppose. I've come a long way out, nowhere near where the watchtowers were. I've say I do like this mod, but I think the Land Rover seems quite big and the capacity inside seems quite small. It seems like an oversized Series 2, but it's still it's a Series 2. Uh, right, let's check the map, because like I said, I'm going way off course here. Oh, look, I'm so close to the now. <laughs> when I turned off, I could have got that one anyway. Um, what we'll do, we'll head across there, and then we'll sort of see. I think we might do as well, actually. What time is it? Uh, all right for the time being. As I'm, as I'm only... Doing a bit of landing. Whoa, okay. extreme considering I seemed like I was just going across grass okay that looks like it ends yeah it does and can I <laughs> can I get down onto there is this going to prove to be I mean that looks quite deep to me That's going to require recovery from the other side, I would imagine. Yep. Can I bump back up this now, though? Yep. Back to the watchtower it is.
Okay, let's go back to the main road to get these watchtowers done. Plan in future, Mr. City P. Going off piste like that. But that's the point. I must admit, I have considered a couple of times. I know it would be a bit terrifying, but I mean, you start a new save game rather than obviously. Uh, stopping completely but it'd be interesting to go back um, to the very start of the game and start playing through all the missions that if I think back to the first videos I made and it the game was new the controls were new all everything you were doing was new and it was sort of learning all the different facets of the game and all the things you had to do but how difficult it was with, with next to no money trying to find upgrades and do stuff to your vehicles but just getting across the map was horrendously difficult with all the various mods and stuff available now going back doing it again but using mods I suppose it would seem probably ridiculously easy now as well I, I, I guess I am surmising okay just take it low shall island hop just in case Okay, that was, uh, I thought that was going to be easier. It was, no, no, no. Oh, oh, so I'm just going to roll then. Keep going. Keep going. Time to roll over. Okay, but this isn't pretty, is it? What is this? Okay, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I could use the winch, but we're still moving. Oh, there we go, wasn't so bad. for fuel. And as per usual, the first map of the three, I think, isn't it? Gives you a feel for how you think it's going to be and what I've, they've done again, which I've loved every single set they've done, each map has been, has had similarities to the first one terrain wise and texture and colour palettes and that kind of stuff but is very different this is a lot more challenging with a lot more water as far as I can gather anyway from what I've seen so far okay went to crossroads that's where we came in right so we want to really go right and be heading kind of that. you know what maybe I'll set myself a so I set myself a waypoint. I don't know them, but just so I don't lose my uh, lose my bearings as we go. It's a gas station, it's not. Was it a train station? What have we got in here? A 
loads to be done. <gasps> Check out and see how much water we've got. We've got a lot of water between us and there. And the trailer. That's the question. Potentially. It's not too bad. And his last words. No, no, we're alright. a bit swampy across there. Oh, he says. <laughs> well, just looking across there thinking, right, as the crow flies, probably not the most sensible of ideas. Fuel still looking okay. so far. I've probably gone past it. I'm sure people have already come and said, oh yeah, it's on this map in this location, that kind of thing. But, well, I'll find it some point. Once maps are sort of cleared and radared and that kind of stuff and you've unlocked all of it, normally you can kind of spot them on the map, but... Okay, let's have a nice tower. Swing across here. The telegraph pole, Mr. Silly P. I do. What was it I used on um, some of the earlier ones? It was a Land Rover. It was an old was it Series two, Series Three long wheelbase. Was it the last Raider? Was, was it Zidane? 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 It's not available on PS5. I love that. And that was going across the map was a challenge with that because it didn't have loads of bells and whistles and stuff like that. But that was good. That was just good fun. Okay, launch observation. Yeah, a lot more watery, a lot more swampy. A lot more boggy. So, what we got? Don 71, log trailer cultivator, small scout flatbed, side bed, semi trailer. Is that where the Don is? I'm assuming that's going to be a. Yeah job of some description. We went past that. So that's an unfinished bridge and there's a crossing point there. Just trying to find the edge of the map. So we're that way around, aren't we? And then the top of the map's there. Okay. I want to do that one. So let's set ourselves a new one, just so we know. Back over that way. Let's just go for it. 
he says. I'm um, pressing it on the side of it. Not sure the problem I find is what I'm doing. This has been a little bit quicker actually, a little bit easier. Whether I'm gonna have enough time to get onto the set the third map and unlock a load of that as well. I might run out of time. I was really hoping I was gonna find another tractor, but I don't think I'm going to. Crossing point there, okay. Follow this track and then we'll try and get across at that crossing point. How deep is that looking? Not too bad, not too bad at all, not too shabby. Too confident when you make a silly mistake. Try it from inside. Let's give it a go. Not too deep at the moment. Um, oh, get out of here. We're feet wet. <laughs> Do I just go for it? Okay. Oh, we are tipping and we're getting deep. Okay, that's not good. No. winch point. Oh dear. We oh, may be in trouble. Come on. Come on. I think I might be stuck on that log. Do I risk going forwards? Why oh, okay. What was I thinking? I'm, I'm going. I know I'm going to try. Okay, so. Handbrake, don't drift. Attach winch, front. Round, but it didn't. What about side then? Release winch, attach winch, that side, to there. Come on, that's it. Side on. 
Okay. That was better. That's why you don't go in cover. <laughs> because you can't see. I went off to the side thinking I'd be alright. Should have stuck on here. There we go. We got out of it. That's the main thing. Oh, I thought I'd lost it for a minute then. Okay. Ah. Hmm. This may not be as straightforward as I thought. Which is good. It's a good thing. I didn't want to end the episode stuck, but, you know... Time to actually repair. Fuel. Well, let's have a look. Curious now, because there's barriers in the way. And it's like, why are there barriers? Why are they stopping me getting through there? What's in there they don't want me to see? And the planter. Nothing. <laughs> okay. We need to reassess. there. I think it is going to be a bit of a, yeah, get out here with something else to get around the edges. It's all in good having done the watchtowers, but yeah, I need to try and isolate. Just looking to see, there's the Don there. Sometimes you see like grey shapes and stuff on the maps as you go around, but not always. So we've got to see if we can get to that. That's where I'll finish, I think, in this one. We'll see if we can get to that. We've done what I said I was going to do. We've done some tonking around. I haven't found the tractor, though, but that will be something I want to aim for. I do want to do a hay delivery. I think it's hay delivery. There are... Um, there was a modded forklift truck, I think. Um... I'm sure there was a wheel loader. There's the in-game telehandler, but I don't think I unlocked that. You get one of those. To pick up the bales and put them onto a trailer. Maybe we could do that. I'll have to have a look. And see what's available for that. Well, I've got that crane that I said I got. Right, how bad is this going to be? I don't really want to go all the way around the map. Just looking to see whether or not I can go to the side and get away with it. 
There is a track that leads down here, which leads me to believe it is accessible, but how accessible? Well, okay. <laughs> I have to go over those rocks to make this a safe option when we go island topping again, I suppose. We stick to the rocks where we can. Oh, it's not as deep as I thought. Not this bit anyway. Oh, actually, that's not bad at all. I thought it was going to be horrendous. Erring island side of caution, but oh, we're all right. Didn't even have to change it at low range. out for catastrophic suspension failures this is cool oh there we go look that still bit wasn't so bad So, yeah, it looks like Lost Mailman, there's quite a bit of the map there, but yeah, I think what we'll do, I'm going to head back, to Crossroads, and then I think the next one will whiz out and we'll see if we can unlock the other one. I'll probably pick another vehicle to do the next one. Um, might use the 90, I used the 110, might use the 90. Although I have got that new, what was it called? I did say the other day, didn't I? Um, I need to go to my garage for it, but... Oh, the Hercules thing, was it? Um, we could give that a go, six-wheel vehicle. That's, a, that's a, I say, standard in-game one. I've done a little bit of work on it, but we can see where we go from there. Yep, and I'll, like I say, I'll probably whiz out off camera. Um, or off camera, I'll just drive around the edges of the map. It's weird, in my head, for some reason I had it in my head that once you've done the watchtowers, most of the map normally is unlocked at that point. But I guess, again, I suppose, because there's um, vehicles equipped with radar and stuff now, and there's the radar things you can actually equip yourself with, I suppose a lot of people are just using those so the watchtowers, whilst they do give you some bits and bobs, not everything you need, I suppose, I guess. So, next episode, we'll unlock the third one. Let's see if we can't find this tractor. I mean, it could be that I'm just... It does say you've got to look in the... Uh, look around the environment to find. In the course of the two ways I could have gone, I've gone this way, which might not be correct, but you never know. Oh, that looks a bit soupy. We'll stay away from that for the moment. Well, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great old time. I'm glad I've come back on here for a bit. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.